Preparing properly the financial projections for your startup will have a huge positive impact on the decision-making process of an investor. Ready to dive into some numbers? Welcome back to the Fundraising on the Go, the podcast brought to you by PwC Next Level, where we unravel the mysteries of fundraising for startups. I'm your host, Otito Dosumu, and I'm excited to have you join us today. In our previous episode, we showcased how to prepare a good pitch and investor deck. In addition to preparing a good pitch and investor deck, it is also important to build a solid financial model during the preparation phase of the fundraising journey. In this episode, we will dive deeper into why a financial model is a critical part of the fundraising process. So without further ado, let's break it down. A financial model is like the translator that turns your business plan into numbers over a specific time frame. It's not just a bunch of spreadsheets. It's a strategic tool that can make or break your funding efforts. And here's why. First and foremost, your financial model should weave a narrative. It's the story of of your past, present, and future. Investors want to know where you've been, where you are headed, and how you plan to get there. Your model needs to communicate the feasibility of your plans and highlight when and how much funding your company requires. But it's not just about storytelling. Your financial model needs to shed light on the core drivers of your business. Think of it as an instrument to understand your unit economics and show how they interact to sustain a viable business. To pull this off, you need to make assumptions based on historical data, if you have any and logical reasoning. And speaking of assumptions, they are the backbone of your financial model. Having a robust model allows investors to run different scenarios. They will scrutinize your assumptions to assess how your business responds to changes. That's why your model should include a base scenario, a conservative scenario, and an optimistic version as well. Remember, your financial model isn't just for fundraising. It can also be an important tool for decision making within your company. You can compare actual performance with your budget and make necessary adjustments to your model or budget accordingly. Now, let's talk about what the story of your financial model should convey. Your financial model consists of three main parts, the profit and loss statements, the cash flow statements and the balance sheet. These components should work together to create a narrative that aligns with your investor materials like your pitch deck. The first part of this story should focus on historical data. This showcases where your business has been and its current position. This should support the position that your company is ready for venture investments. The historical data should also show that you have achieved sufficient product market fit and customer adoption such that the cash injection can be used to scale Furthermore, your data should also reveal your revenues and costs. The next part of the story is all about the forecast. Yes, forecasting can be uncertain, especially in the early stages, but it's not about pinpoint accuracy. It's about showing the trajectory of your business toward key metrics like revenue and profit multiples. Think about metrics like annual recurring revenue, monthly recurring revenues, your churn rate, your customer acquisition costs, your lifetime value. These metrics allow investors to benchmark your startup against others. The flow of money is another vital aspect of your story. Your financial model should show when cash flows in and out of your company. It's a roadmap for how you plan to utilize the investment and when you need additional funding in the future. Here are a few PwC pro tips to keep in mind as you build a financial model. First pro tip, quality assumptions matter more than excessive detail. Ensure your assumptions are defendable and based on both internal, that is historical figures and external variables, for example, market research, surveys, etc. Second pro tip, save your sources. During the due diligence process, Having evidence of your assumptions can make a significant difference. As we wrap up this episode, it is important to note that a well-structured financial model is the foundation of determining your status value. In our next episode, 
we'll talk about how to value your startup, a critical step in the fundraising journey. Thank you for tuning in to the Fundraising on the Go. See you on, in the next episode.